Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, we actually wanted to do a reaction video today. I'm hoping y'all don't mind. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's uh, Five Finger Death Punch coming down. Uh, from what I've been hearing, this video is actually really sad. I've only heard the song a few times, but I don't know like what it'll make me feel like uh, during the music video while it's going and everything like that, but it has a lot to do with depression and, you know, dark subject matter so uh yeah uh if y'all watching this with us i mean please be warned uh a little bit about uh what you went through when you were growing up it could be i don't know i haven't seen it yet okay i mean i know um there's some stuff i could relate to so yeah you know what let's get into it Oh, shit. No! It's caving in around me What I thought was solid ground I tried to look <clears throat> the other way But I couldn't turn around It's okay for you I've made a few mistakes, but I'm not the only one. Step away from the ledge, I'm coming down. I could never be what you want me to. You pull me under <coughs> to save yourself. You will never see what's inside of Yo, what's going on with Homegirl? I don't know. It's not saying. Because, I don't know, from what I've been, like, what I've seen so far, she might be having body image issues. Could be. It looked like probably some bullying that was going on over the phone. She probably did something that she wasn't proud of or something like that. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Let's get back into it. On how much I could take You kept feeding me your bullshit Hoping I would break Is there anybody out there? Is there anybody who cares? Is there anybody listening? Who will be here my final prayers? Step away from the ledge I'm coming down Somebody explained. I pull you under just to save
So, uh, you got anything to say about that? The only thing I can say is cyberbullying, you know, that's huge. I mean, it doesn't matter what you do to yourself or anything like that, or it doesn't matter how you see yourself or anything. It's just a simple fact, you know, don't ever try and expose yourself because that's the main thing that will start it. If you're feeling weak, you know, try and find a backbone because feeling weak ain't going to get you nowhere. All it's going to get you is, you know, people talking about you, spreading rumors, doing what they got to do just to make your life a living hell. Other than that, you know, and shoot, I've went through it when I was younger. I've been bullied my whole life. But you do overcome from it and you do get stronger. You might get a little meaner, but you get stronger from it. You just got to find people that understand where you're coming from. Understand what you're going through. But I know one thing. I hate bullying and I hate seeing people get bullied. Yeah, because I've had friends that got bullied. I mean, I wasn't bullied by guys per se, but I was bullied by women, which was, I don't know, it was probably just as bad as Took it hit a, a huge blow to my self esteem. I know that much. And it took a while for me to get over it. I mean, at first I was really bitter, but you know, it's like how they say, things doesn't get easier. Things just don't get easier, my bad. You only get stronger. But if you know somebody else that's going through things like this or anything worse, just be there for them. That's all you have to do is be there for them. Because you might be their hero. Uh, you be there for them if, you know, if, you know, you can be there for them so much. You just got to make sure they don't do nothing crazy. Because you can be there for anybody will tell you. You can be there for a certain person all you want to. If they don't listen to you or take your advice, there's really nothing you can do. All you can do is try and stop them. I've learned that the hard way. You can't just... Be there for somebody and put your back out for somebody because maybe they don't want your help. Maybe they're really, really fed up. And I'm not saying that's not, you know, you can't be there for them. But what I'm saying is, is sometimes people don't want that anymore. Sometimes they're, how they say it, when you want the help, you don't get it. But when you finally do get the help, you don't want it anymore. So it's hard to be there for somebody that doesn't want your help. You never know what could be going on at home that they're not telling you. Uh, with that being said, though, I'm Wesley. I'm Maria. We're welcome to the pride. We'll see you at some other time. Bye. <laughs> I'm trying to be happy. <laughs> That's okay.